Hello. Uh, this, this is a short tu tutorial to all of those of you who've downloaded CryEngine 3 but find that you're not able to run it from your desktop. When you download it, it actually puts the software into a folder and you actually have to go to the folder and click on the actual program itself to run it. So if I go to Downloads and I look at my executables, there's a folder there called CryEngine 3 which I've downloaded and you know either going to run the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version mine's in the 64 and this file here editor.exe is what you click on to make your CryEngine sandbox editor run so it's a bit of a pain to actually come in and come looking for that all the time I've actually tried to drag that out onto my desktop but when you actually drag it onto your desktop it then starts to look for these DLL files in this folder it says I can't find them, so I can't run the Cry Engine. And the only way to make it run again is to actually drag it back into this folder in order to run it. So to get around this problem, the best thing to do is actually to download another free piece of software which actually helps you do what you're trying to do. So, if we go to my website, which I thought they'd already set up, but I haven't. I've actually got the links to the software. This is my website here. I'll put this in the description so you should be able to see what it is. It's just basically chippyc.weebly.com. Uh, there's a few adverts on there. And then here we have the links to the software. So let me say thank you to anyone that might be actually clicking on these adverts because that helps me. In these links, um, I have lots of different links to various software that I find useful. For example, we've got OpenOffice, which is like Microsoft Office, but it's free. We've got links to TV movies, basic programming language link, and something called Auto, Auto Hotkey, which is the one we're going to use. Also, I've got links to lots of free 3D animation software, such as MovieZoo, Bryce, Daz, Blender. There's about 60 of these all the way down here. If you go down you'll see them all and if you just click on them it should actually take you to that site that website there's free CryEngine 3 SDK for those of you that may not have downloaded the software yet So if we go back to this auto hotkey, it takes you to this website here. Again, it's a free, as I said, a free piece of software. I don't download the latest version, but I downloaded the 2009 version. The reason being because I know that that actually holds a piece of software that I, in the package that you download that I found useful, which just records your your key your keystrokes and you just play them back quite simply. So once you've downloaded that, what that does is that creates a file in your folder, your documents folder, <coughs> which is called Auto Hotkey. Now that is actually a scripting file. So if you were to click on that, it would actually run what is in there rather than actually editing it. But I want to edit the commands within inside of that. So I just popped it into a different folder. In here. And rather than click on it, as I said, you right click and then you can edit the script. And in here, we're going to put some commands. And basically, the commands is what it will run on the uh, desktop. So I'll come out there. If you, if you right click, also, you can see something called properties, which tells you where that file is located. There. This is the one I've created on my desktop. So I'm going to right click, edit the script, and you see that basically you have a run command. And where we right click on the editor.exe file, the one that runs a sandbox, you can then put that as the link for the command to run, followed by a return command to end the script. 
Having created that file in the folder, you then drag that onto your desktop. So we just have the documents. I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. But basically, you simply click on that and drag that into your desktop. And then when you click on the desktop item that you've created, you should run the CryEngine Sandbox with a bit of magic and a bit of luck. There we go. So thanks for watching. I hope that you found that helpful. Thank you.